So we're now down here with uh, the psycho from Stinkbridge, uh, Andy Holmes, and uh, great to, to see you back out there and uh, a jag with the stick in the right place. It uh, it couldn't be much better, really, could it? Nah, it's been a bit of hard work, but will you? Absolutely. What uh, what makes someone like you decide? Because I'm sure you get loads of invitations uh, to uh, to come back and race and uh, be at, uh, at special meetings. What what? extra is it that uh, makes you think after uh, a couple of uh, retirements maybe uh, should we call it that uh, yeah this this is what I have got to do what what's that extra bit that makes this special for you yeah, it was just Ash he rang me up said my dad's having a meeting like and I've got a lot of respect for Nye's like he's one of the last characters in sport so I couldn't refuse really to be honest well that's that's good really that uh, you you immediately thought yeah I'm not uh, not going to woman are about it. Straight in there. Let's uh, let's get it done. Had to be done, as the uh, as the phrase went. And uh, you're looking forward to the day. Is it uh, is it a crashing day from the off, or uh, are you going to uh, look look to try and uh, make it uh, a fun night out that lasts a while? I can't see it lasting. Put it that way. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. I think probably it uh, it certainly will be uh, a magnet. There's uh, yeah, there's going to be a target out there on the back here. But uh, that said. There's, uh, there's a lot of drivers back who've, uh, who've not been on the track for a while as well, so uh, I think there'll be uh, quite a lot of respect amongst you all, won't there? Yeah, I'd have thought so, yeah. We're in the uh, first heat where it's invites only, so I think it'll be a good heat, that. Yeah, it certainly uh, has got the makings of being a cracking race, that, as we uh, yeah remember uh, Brett, and yeah, that's, that's going to be certainly something very special, and uh, yeah, by invitation, a lot of the small field old boys, and... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you've got some battles from, with them from the past. Yeah, one or two, but memory's not that good, so hopefully I'll see the right colour. <laughs> <laughs> so you've just got to hope that their memory's uh, equally as bad when they come up behind you. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So, yeah, it should be a good day. Looking forward to it. Excellent. Well, fantastic to have you on board, and, uh, yeah, enjoy it. I'm sure it's going to be a special night, and, uh, yeah, we'll uh, look forward to uh, seeing a bit of classic, uh, classic psycho back out there. Yeah, all being well. No, cheers, mate. So we're down here now with uh, Steve Hemmings, our uh, second psycho that we uh, get to talk to today, and uh, another psycho who's uh, yeah not uh, with us on the tracks all that often, but uh, sometimes these meetings they just can't be missed, can they? No, you get the invitation, and if there's people out there willing to help you, then you just sort of celebrate. That's what it's all about, you know. I did retire, but I've done a couple of memorials, and you know, I don't just come out just for nothing. Um, it's a lot of money and expense to come out, so yeah, here I am again. Yeah, as I say, once once you're out the zone and you've not got uh, the kit around you, you're not sort of in that that rhythm of building cars. It's uh, it's completely different, isn't it? Stuff doesn't come to you quite as easily, and uh, yeah, I mean, this car, fortunately, you've uh, you've got a couple of meetings out of this one, but uh, otherwise, would it have been a case of find another, or or would it have been a, a case of maybe having to miss tonight? Um, it had been a case of missing tonight. The the hours what went into this car are phenomenal and yeah, the cost involved and only because it didn't run right and we just put it on the rolling road just you know so we know we're 100 percent and yeah it's here it's here now so we'll see see how it goes yeah should be a fun night uh, whatever happens and uh, yeah we uh, we in crashing mode or uh, are we uh, taking things a bit more steadily uh, we'll see what comes. Um, it's using a lot of, using a lot of uh, petrol, so I think before I run out of petrol, I'll have to steam in the back of something. <laughs> Excellent. So that's, that's, that's the, uh, the idea for keeping costs down, is it? The, uh, the fewer laps we do, we do and the more, more we bend the front and the back of someone else, then uh, yeah, the, uh, the, the more we're clawing back out of the job. Yeah, I always like to save a bit of petrol for the lawnmower. <laughs> There's no, uh, no infield grass to mow here, at least. That is uh, one good thing, but... Uh, Hey, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be a special night. Any, uh, any people who uh, are also uh, returning that don't race a great deal anymore that uh, you've still got uh, debts with anyone that, that takes your eye or just, uh, just uh, literally take it as it goes on track? Probably take it as it goes, really, but there's always a bit of pink to be had. <laughs> Excellent. People uh, who race these things for a long time have got long memories, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah they have. <laughs> Well, we wish you all the best and, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, maybe get uh, the odd score settled uh, unexpectedly. Who knows? And, uh, yeah, enjoy the night. Yeah, thank you very much. So we're now down here with uh, Danny Sutton and uh, it's fair to say I think this is uh, one of the cars in a, on a day when there's absolutely 
huge amounts of material here. This is uh, one of the ones that uh, people are going to be looking at uh, the most, I would suspect. And uh, yeah, tell us, uh, tell us a bit more about the car. Um, it was quite a famous one. It was on Jaywick Seafront, got smashed into, insurance job, insurance wouldn't pay out. Um, so I ended up with it. Um, luckily, I got a rear quarter for it as well to repair it. And um, so here it is today. Third pre-80 car I built this month. Because I was meant to do Lynn earlier in the month, but I wussed out because it rained. And then I'd done all the shot and then here today. So it's been a busy month. Busy. Yeah, a lot of old material, but uh, it is what you specialise in more than anything else now. And uh, this one, there's clearly a lot of work gone into it. But uh, how, how long has it, uh, it been with you and uh, well, how long ago did you start it? Uh, I picked it up in November and I started it about five weeks ago. Now, here's the bad thing. The missus and the kids went on holiday a couple of weeks ago and I stayed at home <laughs> so I could spend more time building it. I've also had two weeks off work as well. So <laughs> I've got a lot of catching up to do over the next couple of months. <laughs> so lots of work to do and uh, a bit of groveling with the family as well. So in the bad books all round, but uh, is it going to be worth it? That's, that's the question. I, I, I think just uh, for the people walking around it and uh, the, uh, the parade, that alone, it's it. just going to get such a reception. It's got to be worth it. I mean, it isn't a me car, is it? I mean, I'm usually Jap stuff, small stuff, so I can I can run for my life and get away from people who are going to be smashing into things usually. Whereas today, I need to be smashing into things. So it's not a me car, so it is really just here for the picture, isn't it, really? Um, say that, I might win. Hope or not, because I, like, oh, I ain't going around on that bike. I'll be out of breath. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's true enough that uh, that bicycle is going to be uh, the bane of a lot of people's lives today. But it'll, uh, get off. it'll get writ off after the first race, hopefully. The bike that is, the bike that is. <laughs> you're, you're not fancy one of the lollipops then? No, I'm trying to watch weight. <laughs> uh, That's all right. You win one, but you can't win two. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll call that a diet today. Righto. Okay. I'll um, hopefully I'll get a bit of prize money to buy something for um, KFC on the way home. Uh, Excellent. We'll just ask you one last thing. Have you managed to reprogram your brain to go crashing then? <laughs> it was never programmed to crash anyway, was it? Have you ever seen me race? <laughs> oh, God. There was a crash here at the Mar meeting, the number one meeting, yeah? And I was involved in it. Every single picture of that just shows my wing. There's no evidence that I actually went into that crash and hit anybody. So <laughs> it's just a picture of my wing. I get ripped for that all the time. But... Um, was it literally the case the photographers went, oh yeah, it's Danny coming, it's all right, focus on the next car? You've got it, that is exactly what happened. <laughs> that is exactly what happened, and yes, everyone says that all the time. So. Well, wh whichever way it turns out, let's hope it's a memorable night for you, enjoy it. Yeah, it's going to be a good day anyway, isn't it? So, brilliant. So we're now down here with uh, Joe Jeeves, and uh, a nice uh, Caprice Classic uh, for Joe, and uh, well... Ordinarily, we'd say uh, it was a big car, but ha actually, in the context of some of the stuff we've got here tonight, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a middle of the road kind of choice, isn't it? Relatively small and relatively rotten, so yeah, we are. I don't know though. We think we'll go all right. See what happens. Yeah, it's uh, been a, a tough old time for you. It's uh, yeah, been uh, been one of the uh, the weeks that you. Uh, I know you'll uh, you'll come to look back on and enjoy in the future, but uh, nonetheless, it's. Uh, been touch and go whether you were going to get here. I know in your mind you were always going to be here, but that was uh, that was far from a certainty. So, uh, is it is it nice to to be here now and think, yeah, okay, it's it's, it's coming together. Every, everything's going right. Yeah, I mean, beginning part of the week, then we wasn't actually sure. I mean, come Thursday or what day are we now? Saturday. That's how long it's been. Come Thursday. I said to Carly, what do you think, can I go racing? She said, yeah, we'll be all right at home. They were going to come, but obviously we had a few complications. And then, yeah, but now we're all right. So they're both at home doing good. <laughs> yeah, and uh, from me and uh, I'm sure a lot of other people as well watching this, congratulations and, uh, yeah, hope uh, that it is uh, completely plain sailing from here on in. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sure it will be, as long as she lets me sleep at night. <laughs> So the next question, it's, uh, it's been a tough old time and I know uh, you were, uh, well, pretty much uh, awake 24 hours round uh, for, for quite a bit of the week. Are you uh, going to be asleep at the wheel tonight? Depends if any of them bears get their way, but probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, you're thinking invol involuntary kip, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm sure they'll put me where I don't want to be and that'll make me go night nights, won't it? <laughs> A busy weekend for you as well. You've got uh, more cars and more racing planned. And uh, I think Monday uh, as well is going to be your uh, your fun day in the van, isn't it? I don't know. It's slow. I don't. It's not very hard. We're getting very wet. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll go all right, I reckon. We'll keep going. We won't be very quick. We won't hit, be hitting a lot, but we'll be fodder. And I think fodder at a meeting like that's a good thing, isn't it? So, yeah. <laughs> Hey, there you go. I'm sure you'll have a great time with it. Enjoy tonight, and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's hope uh, it turns around. You've got a great team behind you, and uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, even after uh, one or two crashes, you'll be uh, you'll be back around for more. I've got the best team behind me, definitely. And if it can be fixed, they'll fix it. And I'm stupid enough to drive it. If they're stupid enough to fix it, so let's have a go at it. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Have a brilliant night. Thanks for talking to us. Cheers. Thank you. It's going to be one hell of a weekend. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, um, everyone's coming to it in the right spirit. Um, hopefully, the, well, like you say, the weather will hold up for us. Yeah. If not, we'll all go swimming. Yeah, absolutely right. And we had a couple of puddles earlier on, and I, I knew, me and you, we'd quite happily put on a pair of armbands and go for it. Well, we'd be like a pair of beach whales, wouldn't we? <laughs> well, me more than you. Yeah, well, you know. Uh, what a weekend, though. It's going to be absolutely superb. I know, Ash. Gear and Leah, they're all looking forward to it, aren't they? Yeah, the lot are. I mean, there's so much work gone into it by not just our drivers and all their pit crews, all the other drivers and pit crews. And let's not forget the wives and girlfriends yeah, that have been left, al left at home yeah. while we're all doing what we do, yeah. you know. And um, so they've made sacrifices yeah. as well, you know. Um, them poor old rabbits have been doing overtime I think. <laughs> so we're now in the pits on Sunday and it's uh, fair to say that the uh, cars that are turning up here really are very spectacular indeed. It uh, truly is uh, for uh, the more modern machinery uh, a very very impressive entry of cars that is amassing uh, for day two of uh, the life of Riley and uh, one of those uh, that uh, is uh, very, very special is uh, the uh, Rolls-Royce limo that we're uh, sat uh, just by. And I don't know if Nick wants to pan round just uh, briefly to uh, show uh, what uh, we are talking about right now. It's uh, Ben Nichols uh, down here with uh, the uh, roller limo. And uh, yeah, for uh, a more modern car, we were saying it really does look and stand very, very nicely indeed. But uh, I think it's fair to say, uh, team, it's... Uh, it's been a hard job to, uh, to get this one together and here, hasn't it? Yeah, hard five weeks, uh, nights, weekends, made everything. But hey, yeah, it was a car that we got. Uh, it was a free car, so it made it better. And yeah, this is the sort of meeting you bring it to. So a bit too big for Mildenall. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully he'll have some fun and uh, start his crashing career, hopefully. Yeah, it's uh, fair to say that uh, Ben's been doing uh, a lot of racing uh, since his uh, junior days. But uh, yeah, this uh, this probably isn't the uh, the quickest car to uh, to have a ride round in. But uh, we will we will have a, a quick word see if we can get a little bit out of Ben. Are you looking forward to racing it? Definitely, yeah, better than a Merc. Yeah, it's certainly something special, isn't it? And. Uh, yeah, I don't think you'll be able to avoid the crashing because uh, something like that, it's, uh, it's going to feel like a magnet. That's going to have a target on the back of it for the right people. Yeah, I don't normally hit anything, so <laughs> it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Every everyone will be hitting the back. You won't need to use the front, Ben. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, as long as we have a good day, get out of it at the end of it. That's, that's what we're here for. So as long as no one gets hurt today, that's, that's what racing's about, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Having a great, uh, a great day, a great show with uh, lots of great drivers and lots of fantastic material. And uh, in terms of spares and what have you, have got anything uh, much for it, or is it going to be one of those where, uh, where you, you need to uh, hopefully keep the, the original gear fairly straight and just keep pulling it? No, it's on full jag. So we've got a box of spares, as you can see. Uh, we've got everything to repair it multiple times. So yeah, we're here for a crash, hopefully. Excellent. So uh, not only a spectacular car, but hopefully one that's uh, going to do the uh, the full day and maybe beyond. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, good work from everyone involved. And, uh, yeah, we hope you uh, enjoy the day. Yeah, thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, good luck to uh, to you, Ben, as well. I'm uh, sure you're going to make uh, make the best of it. Cheers. Thanks a lot.
We're now talking uh, to Steve O'McGrath and uh, yeah, okay, this is uh, the life of Riley weekend and uh, we're all looking forward to the action today. But uh, for you as well, it's uh, coming towards the uh, the end of the year with uh, the uh, gold on the top. Not necessarily, of course, that you won't defend it successfully, but uh, certainly it's fair to say you've uh, really done justice to the goal this year. Been here, there and everywhere. Is it uh, an experience you've enjoyed? Yeah, it's been unbelievable, mate. The support people have given me is absolutely fantastic. We've just tried to do as much as we can. Like it's not easy coming from Ireland, obviously, but we've done. We've got two left. We've got the World of Shale, and maybe we're going to try and squeeze in one more. And Ant and Kieran and that. For, oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> and the boys are sorting me a van out for tomorrow as well. So I didn't have time to do anything old. I've just been too busy. I haven't been home, and I don't know how in five weekends or something. So I've no time. But I'm here with something which is better than nothing, isn't it? So we'll give it a bash. Absolutely, and it's it's not just something, is it? It's, uh, it's actually, yeah, it's a used car, but it's a very straight car, and it's uh, it's got plenty of life left in it, and uh, certainly one thing that uh, has come forward is your shale uh, driving over the last few years has uh, come on in leaps and bounds as well, so uh, I think, uh, depending on whether you've brought your crashing head today or your racing head, you're, you're going to go well. Yeah, I've, I've raced it once before, but listen, no one's here to win, any. I don't fancy cycling around the track on that bike, so... I'll probably get stuck in, mate. Everyone will get stuck in, hopefully. If the shot's there, I'm going to take it. Simple as that. So, we'll see. It'll be good. Yeah, it's certainly uh, got the the makings of being a brilliant, brilliant meet in loads of hard action. But, uh, yeah, if it, if it makes any difference, I, I think Matt actually wrote the bike off last night, T-boning Kieran here. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I think uh, unless anyone's got two bottom arms for a, a tricycle, then we're not going to get that one back out. No, definitely I might go for a win then if Matt's rode the bike off. <laughs> You can always do, if it somehow miraculously has been resurrected, get him to pedal like a few of the drivers did last night. Yeah, I'm not sure it'll take the two of us, but if, it, if it's pedalling, he can pedal for sure. I'll sit on the back, I don't mind. <laughs> I'll tell you what, loads of people that enjoy seeing that, but uh, yeah. Uh, Bye, Matt, let's go. She's struggling here a bit on the back. There's probably a 50 stone in here. You better know I'll fall on the back. All right, Matt, we're coming into turn one and two here. Take it easy now. Whoa, this wheel is looking bad here, Matt. <laughs> What's it feel like there, cycling the world champion around? She's a bit rough on the back, Morris. I'm not going to lie. We're now here talking to Kieran Bowman and uh, day two of the life of Riley, a different car for you and uh, certainly last night in uh, the uh, Cadillac it really was one of those cars. Ah, ah. Here on mine, you know. Thank you. You see, that, that, that's the sort of relationship we have with, uh, with goal roofs around the pits, isn't it? Yeah, it gets, we all get a little bit too friendly, I suppose. <laughs> but yeah, it's good. Gold gets you giddy, and uh, well, certainly by the looks of it on your car, the uh, the old gold spray, it's gone right over your name board, across the windscreen, everything. You've got uh, yeah, m more than a bit of overspray there, so th this gold certainly does make you a bit giddy, doesn't it? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? It feels good to wear it, so yeah, hopefully we'll have another good day. Yeah, last night's car, that was uh, one of those that, just for a change, a big yank, and it really, really went well for you. I know you did a lot of work to keep turning that round last night, but uh, must be pleased with how that went and uh, the night that you got out of it. Yeah, it was, um, normally I don't have a lot of luck in them. There's stuff breaking, like props and stuff, but last night it just seemed to keep going. Uh, that second race was a standout for me. Like, must have done four or five shots. It was, it was really good, yeah. And uh, more of the same today, or are you, uh, Having a, a, an easier day with the Merc. Oh, I can hope so, but I'll probably get seen off straight away. So, <laughs> but yeah, no, hopefully it's good again. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, you two guys are to stick together now. You, you and Steve O just you know, ride shotgun for each other around the track. Yeah, Goldrew's got to stick together. He had my back at Yama, so who knows? We might have his back today. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, that's all good, isn't it? And uh, yeah, the friends, the relationships you make in racing—that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, I mean, we've, we've been friends for a couple of years now, and. Um, now we're both gold roosts. It's nice to, you know, it's nice for us both. But so yeah, hopefully we have a good day together. 
Brilliant stuff. Well, we wish you all the best. Let you get uh, away to scrutineering and, uh, yeah, have another great day. Lovely. Thank you. <laughs> We're now talking uh, to James Licorice and uh, Jaguar XF for today. It's, uh, I think, the first one of these you've had, isn't it? Yeah, it's the first one I had. So basically the same as an S-Type, but a bit of a sleeker body. But <laughs> oh, I think, if anything, these are probably a little bit harder as well. Yeah, I'll probably have a headache by the end of the day. <laughs> but. Well, certainly... From last night, I'm sure you're uh, still uh, feeling the, a bit of the effects of last night. The uh, the Rolls Royce certainly ended up in uh, a big, big mess, and uh, hey, it's a testament to uh, to your attitude to the whole thing. Here you are, smiling, laughing, and uh, ready to go again. But uh, yeah, was that a bit scary for a few moments? Uh, yeah, you know that got very narrow, and uh, but just. It was epic, you know. It's, I still can't really work out what happened, but <laughs> it was proper. <laughs> I could tell you what happened. At the start of the race, you uttered the immortal words, I've not broken anything on this yet. That's what did it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Matt, Matt Black said to me before the race, oh, you're up there in the entertainer points for the over the day. So I thought, I'm leading the final. I don't want a lollipop. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, that was flat out, and I didn't expect it to bend that bad, but it was brilliant, you know. So, maybe not for the five seconds, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> but, you know, it's mega, so. Yeah, it certainly was dramatic. I, uh, yeah, you smaller cars and cars that you know to be weak, you expect those when they're going hard to fold up a bit, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, you don't expect a Rolls-Royce to go like that. And it, it, it really did give up very, very easily, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just thought, you know, go in and you never know what a car's going to do. But I didn't expect the pillars to just go straight and the bonnet to hit the roof. But it was mega, you know. Crowd loved it. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, can't fault it. And, yeah, smiling, ready to go again. And, uh, yeah, new car to you. And uh, one, I suspect you'll find you'll... Uh, you'll really enjoy and get on with and uh, well hopefully this is the uh, the first of a few of these as well the uh, the modern jags certainly uh, certainly uh, showing very well at uh, some yeah barton boys love them and uh, yeah one or two others really learning what to do and how to get them right and yeah i'm sure you'll you'll be going along that journey now and uh, we'll get more epic performances from you yeah i mean if if today's as quarter as good as yesterday i'll be having a good day so that's good you know <laughs> brilliant stuff right i think uh, he's still got to go scrutineering yet so uh, no I've been, I've been he's been scrutineering so uh, just, it's just bits, you know. just getting ready then if you want to go out on the parade so we'll let all you right. get on yeah. all right then all right thank you cheers <laughs> thank you